Hi guys, this is your boy Martin and today, today I have a video for all of the F3 Spider owners, doesn't matter which model, and all of the RT owners and we will talk about upgrades. So I'm pretty sure you have been across the situation on a social media in case you go on Facebook or whatever and you are in the groups of Spider and Riker lovers, owners, maintenance group, whatever. I'm pretty sure you have come across this. Somebody has just joined the group and is posting a picture of his beautiful new bike. And then they ask a question. Guys, what do you think should, my, should be my very first upgrade? <gasps> Boy, that's when the shit hits the fan. Everybody, and don't get me wrong, many advices are very good according to me but there are so many different uh, advices, you know, and nobody really, I don't know if ever somebody asked a question, what's the owner like? What type of rider he is or she is? Are they riding two up or single, long distances, short distances? Do they prefer um, more comfort? Are they missing handling, power? You know, would they like to make a Christmas tree and put dozens of lights on their bike? This is something that is very important because the only thing that matters it's that owner okay so what i'm trying to say will this video answer the question what is the best upgrade for you no in case you would like to know what is the best upgrade for you we need to talk and i love to talk to you guys so in case you have a question like what you are missing and you would like to discuss various options just write me to martin the vlogger at gmail.com and i like to like really openly talk to you. Uh, but so what's the thing about today's video? Well, I will tell you what is the best 15 plus one upgrades that you guys have bought on my shop uh, for your Canem Spider F3, F3S, F3T and F3 Limited and RT Elder and the new 2020 models in 2022 on my shop. Statistically, what are the most popular items? Maybe some of you will find it very nice. And today I will talk about what is good about them, what is bad about them, what are the alternatives. Guys, enough of this. Let's get started. So number 15. And maybe if I will have a shop in the US, it would be much higher. Maybe attacking even top five. But because I have a European shop, even though we ship worldwide, uh, it's, it's really like, it's a popular item, but because of the EU regulations and because of the emissions and, and noise regulations, and you probably know where I'm getting, uh, it's just really like, we sell them a lot, but it's not like, like everyday business. So you can see, of course, only my Dirty Punisher series, and you know the um, exhaust freak, but we will be talking about a cat delete. So of course this upgrade is preferable for F3 owners because of the nature of the RT, type of owners of the RT models. They are a little bit, in many cases, they are a little bit elder people going for a longer distances. So really the sound of the, of the RT, it's enough for them as a stock. But for F3 owners, it's very popular or quite popular to have cat delete. Now, I'll, let, let me take you to my shop. It's very messy there, but it is what it is. Uh, so I have uh, a lot of exhausts uh, from RLS. I'm working with Ricky. And of course, we have these, ouch, we have these cat deletes. And I'm selling only this black from now on. I still have some left of the of the stainless steel, but uh, I like to sell only these black because that's the best option what Ricky has. Uh, you know, please understand that what Cat Delete brings you is not really a performance, it's improvement on, in sound on our Rotax engines, okay? Uh, you will need to go to the EQ Flash or a Dynajet in order to get really a performance out from it. It's, it's a different story. Don't, don't, I don't want to go that direction today. But this is what I like about this one is that it's, 
it's ceramic coated in black and the significant advantage of this is that it keeps the heat around this pipe or within the pipe so you know the the original stock catalysator can get super 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 hot there is a hot around your legs whatever warm warm areas and with this one it's much less noticeable it's beautiful sound and in case guys you don't want to go uh, super crazy my advice is do just one thing at a time i know it's again against any shop owner rules because you should sell as much as possible but my advice is do either exhaust upgrade and and keep the catalysator or do the catalysator upgrade so cat delete and keep the stock exhaust and see what what the sound is how it's changed and if it's not enough go and buy the additional thing all right of course i like to have the rls cat delete to together with the punisher punisher is very popular exhaust because martin the vlogger rides with the punisher and some of my videos are super crazy and super loud so people do love that combo uh, last time we did uh, on the black panther uh, la monster pipe with the punisher and that combo is just brutal i absolutely love it anyway enough of this uh, number 15 was cat delete on our shop next thing on the list is the can and air filter very popular and many times i don't know if i should say the truth many times it is people do buy it because you would like to get more performance out from it and i already said this in the very similar video i did for Riker owners about the best 15 selling items uh can and filter i'm sorry to say this but it's not about performance not about performance in the way that you will notice it so you will put the canon air filter into your 1313 engine or 998 engine because we have also those filters in our shop and you will go out there and you will see a boost in your performance it doesn't work like that what i like to say about these kind of filters and i do ride the beast with the filter ever since 2016 and i still do have the very same filter on my bike is that First, it's a prevent of the loss of the performance. So what I'm trying to say by this is that in a very hot weather, in a very warm days, your bike will get much more air and therefore it will not overheat that much and therefore you will have still more power compared to the, to the bike that will basically overheat. Two, I think the price of two stock paper air filters it's the it's the same as buying one can and air filter and you need to change the air filter every time you change the oil or you should be doing it so after the second change you're basically saving the money so long run you're saving the money uh, not a performance thing it's more about preventing of the losing of the performance plus it's the beautiful feeling that you have the can and filter tiny thing maybe also in the winter time to just change it and um, also last not least uh, in case guys i did many videos in case you are watching only on youtube maybe I'd, my, my advice here is that watch this watch my episodes on martinthevlogger.com every week i'm publishing new vlog and all of the videos that are related to this so canon filter how to clean it or uh, exhaust or cat deletes that we've been talking uh, how to uh, what is the sound difference everything it's linked to this video it's linked to this article and you can watch it and see all the related videos it's much more beneficial for you to watch it on martindevlogger.com and also you can click and you can become a member and you will be informed every time i make a new post so basically you will know all and every thought that i will make and next on the list it's uh, i call them something like a maintenance items uh, all of these items do so equally i would say so i throw them into a one grip uh push pin and push pin removal tools push pins and push pin removal tools very popular ever since i you really uh, ever since i start to do more installation videos and you see me working with them uh, i have both of these on my shop i used both of these uh, and uh, of course with the push pins if you work around your bikes uh, you can always use a screwdriver it's not a problem but in many cases they are very hard to reach uh, they can be a little bit tricky to remove plus uh, because I'm doing a lot of installations my, my finger was hurting a lot 
with this one, I can very, because of the shape, I can very simply push some of those push pins that are bloody hard to put back. So um, it's a great, great tool. And uh, it comes with an extra additional 20 push pins and those bloody things likes to break and uh, sometimes I lose them. So that's a great thing. Um, next thing is uh, this uh, mirror locks. It's not for the F3, it's for F3T and limited. And uh, it's not for F3, as I wanted to say. And for RT20 plus models, uh, those bloody mirrors are shaky. In case you're in the reverse and you have the vibration from the engine, those mirrors are shaky, shaky, shaky. So very cheap, very effective cost. No more shaky uh, mirrors. Also in a higher speeds when the belt is creating the vibration, but we have fixed for the belt as well on the list. And the last item, it's a high flow, uh, oil filter, and it's absolutely the same story as with um, Canon filter. Uh, is it really better than a stock uh, oil filter? You know, I, I want to be honest. I'm using stock oil filter on the Rikers that I have in my tour and rental agency. And I'm using also the stock uh, XPS, uh, the, the oil, okay? I'm not going for any alternatives because that oil is pretty good. Uh, however, with the, with the oil filter on my F3S, I'm using this high flow. Why? Because it's a good price, price uh, option compared to stock one. And also, I believe it has something to do with us having three wheel motorbikes instead of single lane. We, we like to be different. And with this one, something saying high flow, and you know, it's different from the stock. That's the reason most probably why it is very popular. We have it for 1313 and 99N engines. On to the next one. Now number 12, and would you not mind if I will throw in also number 10 into the same story? Hopefully it will not create any confusion, but of course it's my video, I can do whatever. But so number 12, it's actually top cuff, it's here. So the holders, any type of holder, uh, I have to throw it in into one category because they are equally popular. Some people don't like to go with the, with the top cuff. Some people like to change the, the bar clamp. I, I have changed it in case you don't see it. Like usually it comes as a GPS swivel or ram ball. So the ram mount is here. I have there my uh, pedal box and it will go away. I will replace this one where the GPS swivel and the GPS, the Zumo will go here as because we are going in 2023 to the Balkans with my Turin rental agency. A lot of spiders and it's gonna be a trip to the Montenegro. Let's ride Montenegro together. Different story, toursontree.com. A little bit of promo, but the most badass Turin rental agency in Europe, period, all right? Working to get, apart from four Rikers, F3, limited my wife is not watching these videos so that's that's all fine i will survive somehow hopefully so uh, apart from like we have you need to go to my shop and see the the holders and top cuffs be, and clamps because there are different options you can change the the stock one you can go as i said with this top cuff you can put mirrors even here by the way brand new item on our shop you can remove these mirrors uh, have it covered with a turn light signal and put the mirrors there. So that's the thing. You can have a holder only like this in case you wish. So a lot of different options. And actually number 10, uh, it's about razors. Very, very popular. Uh, and if you will ask me which one is more popular, the, the La Monster Garage handlebar razor or the Showroom, I'll tell you they sell absolutely equally. And in case you would like to see more info about the bar clamps, holders, razors, I did a video about this. And again, it's attached to, the, to this video on martinthevlogger.com. So in the blog post about this, they're all related videos. You can watch much more and find out more info. Okay, number 11, uh, it's this tank protector. It's obvious why. And, um, and not only I would say tank protector is popular, but the products from, from Tough Skins. And uh, those that don't know, I work with the Tough Skins and I started like a long time ago. Um, 
Be why? Because <clears throat> I wanted to have a little bit of the carbon feeling on my bike and I love real carbon. And Tuscan products, they are so special because they are using a thin layer of real carbon fiber. And then they put a twin tape on it uh, from T 3M and create a unique product. They have, what is the most popular, it's as I said, this tank protector. I would like to bring a tank protector for RT20 Plus in the, in the spring of 2023 to my shop. And uh, most like common question is, because I have two options with the tank protectors. This is called a uh, doomed version and it's, it has something like clear coating on top, which creates more like deep 3D effect. And it's like this. Now, this is of course not a tank protector. This is just a random, I randomly grab a product on my shop. This is from, from Riker. And this is what it's called um, a raw. And the difference is there is no clear coating. This is just pure, pure, uh, it's um, under the foil. So it's not shiny, but it's really like raw, raw carbon fiber. And that's the, that's the difference actually. What are the other really popular products in terms of tough skins? And I believe, and I, again, I'm taking you back to my shop. I believe I'm the, maybe the only shop in the world that has all of the tough skin products already made. Everything that you see on Martin the Vlogger, and we are attacking 400 items already. I'm super proud of it. Uh, everything what you see on my shop, we have it on stock. We don't do any drop ships forever. So Tough Skin product, this is for Riker. It's a little bit dark here, but hopefully you can see it. Um, this is for Spider. So this is for Frame, also very popular. Uh, item consisting of 18 different items, and it's for side of your bike. Uh, and uh, this is very popular, side panel cover. So big panel and beautiful. Like, look how beautiful the carbon is. And that's real carbon fiber. So these type of products too, you will make the, uh, make the difference uh, in look and style of your spider because we do not have really wraps for, for spiders. This is how you can make your spider a little bit unique. And that's the reason why I believe why they are so popular. All right, enough of top skin products. On to the next one. I think we are getting to number nine and this product, for me, I'm super happy when somebody buys it. Um, it's called Break Free uh, and it catches attention not only of the spider riders and, and of course Riker riders as well, but also to normal motorcycle riders because I believe I'm the only one who brings it to, to Europe really. Uh, so Break Free Light, have a look, you see? Uh, it's the it's the light that works without any app. You just charge it, put it on your helmet, and basically it's on like this. When you brake, it's like this, and when you um, when you hit emergency braking, it's like this. You are super visible. I'm riding with it for, I believe this was the second season, and uh, well, it's well, it's very like I don't know if it's nice or whatever. But I'm doing tours, okay? So we have sometimes people of 20 bikes, 30 bikes following me. And uh, after the tour, there are so many cells because people see me all the way from the back when I'm braking with the engine. That's a great thing. It has so many gyroscopes and whatever in there that when you brake with the engine only, it also shows to other people behind you, hey guys, I'm slowing down but I'm not hitting the brake and that's a beautiful thing. As I said, no apps are needed. And also, I'm a heavy rider, not in terms of weight only. I'm, I know I'm a well-sized dude, but I like to ride a lot. When I'm out there, I'm riding whole day. And when I charge this thing on a Thursday night, going for a trip on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, when I return back home on Sunday, it's still working. It starts to flash that it has low battery, but it's still working. So for me, a must have thing. A little bit of the downside, I'm always honest, is that yes, I think it has 100 grams or something like that. So from on the first ride, I was feeling it. 
ever since then, I don't care. Our next thing on the list are the signature lights. Now, why they are so popular, you may think if you are watching in the US, because these are completely illegal in Europe. Why? Because everything that is cool, it's usually illegal in Europe. Everything, it has something to do with the, with the regulations and road safety because, I don't know, because having additional light that it's visible, that it's cool, that it's not super, I don't want to say offensive, but you know, like really harmful for your eyes, it's still illegal. I just completely don't understand it. And we will talk about one product and that just, just nonsense, absolute nonsense, why it is not legal. But now I'm talking about signature light for F3s. Of course, I'm riding with one and maybe a tiny tip. I put it into a foil and I kept only a tiny bit of it. Why? Because it looks super nice uh, with my wrap, my custom made wrap. We have a floorboards for RT, super popular. We have the OX lights for RT and we have those front signature lights for, for the RT. And I'm only working in this case, I'm working with original lights, original from BRP. I just bring them from US, have them here. No, I'm not buying any cheap Chinese copies because simply they are bad. Period. These are more expensive, but guess what? You have expensive bike and BRP products are not cheap. So that's the reason why they cost more. But I have mine from Signature Light ever since 2015. Still working beautifully and been through a lot with me. So, you know, number, I don't know what it was, but on to the next one. Now, number six and number seven on as a best selling items on my shop. I'll put it together because they talk about the same thing, about handling and comfort and performance. I will talk about shocks. And who is watching my videos, you know that on F3, I have like F3, it's, it's bad, but RT, it's just terrible. Rikers are not good. I just, I just don't have a good word about stock shocks on, on, on our bikes. It's just terrible. Um, I don't know why. I know why it's cost saving, but they're just terrible. Unless you are a really skinny rider. Uh, good. So what well, is very popular, very popular. It's on F3 S and F3 models is to change the rear shock because when you are a little bit heavier rider, when you are riding two up in many times, and when you are, are loaded, uh, many times you are hitting the bottom or the shock. It's so compressed that it's not really working and the, the ride. It's very bumpy. So we have a Wilbur shocks. I have this one ever since 2016, I believe. Unfortunately for me, at the time there was no hydro hydraulic preload, but now we have it. I think it's around 600 euros. We ship worldwide. There are so many orders and um, there are custom made shocks. If we do not have stage one, stage two, stage three, stage, four, no, not like Elka. Wilbur's is just, Wilbur's period, the top of the line product. And you tell me like how heavy you are, how heavy is the passenger, blah, blah. I'll ask you a few questions and we, or we, I don't do anything. I just ship it, but they will build a shock for ya. As for the front on F3s, to be honest with you on F3s, it's very popular to change it with the Wilbur's or many people. And I will use my, my Rikers for that. Many people just do use the product that I believe nobody else, so many times I have said, I believe, I believe, uh, nobody else has in the world. These are the HNR uh, springs, high performance springs from Germany with all of the road and safety certificates and whatever. And they have great or much higher spring uh, preload and, and compression rate. So I even changed every single Riker front springs uh, on four of my Rikers in tour and rental agency. That's how I believe in that product, really. Like proof is right there. And we have this for F3s. Now we have it even for F3T. And we have this for RT. RT springs 
have 73 better compression rate towards the terrible stock springs. And for the RT, for the RT20 Plus, super popular upgrade is to go with the Wilbur's that are one centimeter higher. Oh, that's a great thing. And I have just found it out by coincidence, but we did it on the bike. It was great. And that allows, you know, that one centimeter, I don't know how many inch it is, inches it is, like this, uh, that allows you not to hit the bottom of every single, you know, uh, bottom of your RT with any pothole, whatever you are hitting your bottom of the RT with. Which is a complicated saying, but anyway, onto a top five. Onto a top five. And in case you are still watching, you will be rewarded. In case you are watching through the Christmas time, you will be rewarded. Uh, because I know it can be challenging to be with the family. I, I enjoy it, but it can be challenging to spend several days with the family. And I will give you a reward in case you will shop on martinthevlogger.com slash shop through the Christmas time. Martin the Vlogger don't do Black Fridays because I'm a smaller shop. Even though we have more than 400 items or reaching 400 items, we're still, it's a one man show. Uh, I don't do any presents kind of apart from chewing gums. I don't do special sales or whatever. I just don't do it because every time you shop with me, I give you a support and every day when you shop, you pay 100%. I give you at least 110% of me. So that's the 10% discount every bloody day. On a Christmas time, I have decided I will do something special. So whoever buys uh, from 22nd to 28th of December 2022, on, doesn't matter which item, every item that is not on a sale or is not on a bundle box, you will get 10%, like something like, it's not cashback, but it's a voucher for your next order that you will be able to do from 1st of January, 23 until end of May. So basically I'm giving you back 10%, but you will need to do another order. Every item that is on sale or on the bundle box, you will get 5%, okay? You don't need to use any promotion code, nothing. Just buy through this period, and I will personally send you electronically the voucher. So number five are leather-like grips. And I'll put the same like leather-like grips all together with uh, also the foam grips. But ever since in the summer that the leather-like grips came in, they're super popular. Uh, I don't want to talk much about them because I did again a video about them, like how I have repaired uh, my already done original grips. But the difference and what, how they help, it's not only that they make your, your handlebars a little bit bigger, but it's also that all of the vibrations that are coming from the bed road or whatever, they are much more like, like softened uh, with this. Now, after my video that uh, I, I talk about comparison between leather leg and, and the phone in the restoration video, uh, the phone will be not that big, it will be a little bit smaller. So for those that don't want to have really a, a bigger uh, handlebars or, or, or wider, the, the foam grips are, are better and we have them on a, uh, on a special price for like when buying as a pair. So ever since, as I said, summer, uh, leather light grips are super popular on our shop. Number four, belt tensioner with upgraded roller. Uh, very popular, but I think it can be even more popular if people give it a chance and understand what it can done to you. Uh, many people go for a belt tensioner because uh, for whatever reason, again, I know the reason, costs. Uh, BRP don't throw a uh, belt tensioner on your bikes. Only the RT20 Plus in limited versions or like C2 Sky, whatever, they do have it. Most probably F3 Limited will have it as well. I don't want to really say it loud, but maybe yes. Rest of them will not have it. La Monster came with this full aluminum one. We have both 
we have the BRP with upgraded roller that is much bigger. And we have this La Monster one. And uh, ever since it came to our show, it's been success. But as I said, I think many people just don't understand and undervalue it. Why it is very good is because, first of all, it removes the vibrations that you may feel between 100 kilometers an hour to, let's say, 120, 130. The bike just shakes. And why? Because the belt is going like this. It's going crazy. And uh, 100 kilometers is what? Uh, it's 60 miles. And let's say to 75. Uh, so it removes the vibration, but I don't care about vibration. Uh, but what it also does, it, it prevents earlier fail of your belt because it's not, not shaking like this. It can go around your uh, sprocket much, much better, much easier. So you will, you will prevent the usage of your belt uh, in the long run. And the belt is quite expensive. And last not least, I don't know, uh, I know why, but simply the gear changes are super smooth. That's how, that's what it helps. And um, we still have the, the BRP ones. The, the disadvantage of the BRP, the advantage is they are cheaper. Disadvantage is that they are, the part of it, it's, it's plastic. Uh, the advantage of La Monsta is it's full aluminium and it's art. Bah! I told you I will get there to a light that it's super illegal. Super illegal brake light that sh gives you extra visibility. How? Hey, who can explain me why it is so dangerous? Like, go ahead, write in the comments and explain me why it is so dangerous to use extra brake light. That is, now I don't know if it's on every single RT20 Plus on the top case. I'm talking, of, this is a top case light. RT20 top case, F3. T with the top case or limited. Maybe in the US, every single one has it, not only limited uh, versions, I guess. In Europe, none. And everything is already there. All, only thing you are missing is this OM light. So of course, Martin the Vlogger has them. Can you explain me, because that's actually the, where is the top case most probably. Can you explain me why this is so dangerous, apart from being more visible, to have it in this size? When I have my car and it has the third light all the way in the, on top, I, I'm just pissed. Many people don't buy it because they say, Martin, it's illegal. Nobody, nobody, not, I don't want to say nobody. I said it, but I don't want to, I don't really mean it. But most of the people, like 99% of the police people, 99% of the people on the, on the control checks, whatever, because it's OM light. It will fit absolutely perfectly. Nobody will notice. 99% of people will not notice that it should not be there and it's illegal. So, you know, extra safety for super price, super popular on martinthevlogger.com slash shop. Just don't know why it is illegal. I just don't know. Number two, it's pedal box. I have it. I was, uh, it's very popular. We have it for 99 engines. We have it for 1339 engines. I have very, very competitive price because I only sell the Bluetooth version. So the most more expensive version. Why I have competitive price? Because Pedalbox, it's, it's made by a company that is called DTE, which is a German company. And my buddy in crime, he actually made the logic for all of the spiders and rikers, all right? And we start to sell it two years ago. Actually, he started to sell it and I just made it go internationally. Uh, now, everybody sells pedal box and that's a great thing, I, I, I don't care. It's just the thing, it's, for me, it, start, it, it lost the kind of exclusivity. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so worried that, you know, actually, I will go to the bakery and somebody will offer me a pedal box. It's a great unit. I'm just complaining about the fact that everybody is now selling it. It's just, 
I don't know. But we have one advantage and I don't care. Uh, the logic and the map that we have in our pedal box, it's our own. It's not the generic one that you can buy. Plus we are only selling the, the Bluetooth version. It's a top two product. And for those that don't know what the pedal box all about, still many people don't understand it. Uh, your throttle ever since 2012, whatever, it's electronically controlled. So no matter how fast you twist the throttle, the bike will, actually the bike will tell you how fast it will accelerate. It has nothing to do with the custom tuning. Uh, it's just simply, there is a gap. The gap it's created on purpose because they don't want to have fun, most probably. RT it's absolutely terrible. F3 it's T, it's done a little bit differently as F3S. Uh, but long story short, now your throttle, no matter how hard you hit it, uh, it's set up that do not open more than on 65% of your available power. Different RPMs, different, different setup. I don't want to go that direction today. Uh, with the pedal box, we have different modes. City, Sport, Sport Plus, EQ, or no, EQ is not there. City, uh, Sport and Sport Plus, and different like levels on each model. Anyway, if you go to the most aggressive mode, that 65% I told you that you have now there, you will have 95%. It's so sharp when you just hit it, your bike will simply jump. Always making fun when the customer comes here and if you see that he's a skilled rider, I just set it up to the most aggressive mode and have fun. So uh, if you would like to accelerate faster in case you would like to have more fun because you have been riding your spider for a long time and you would like to have new excitement and smile on your face, pedal box. It's just the fact that everybody's selling it these days. Always honest. Always honest. So, what's the number one selling item on martinthevlogger.com slash shop? It's the sway bar. It's the sway bar from H&R. Is it visible there? I don't know. It's a sway bar from H&R. Why? Because nobody in the world has it. It's the most powerful sway bar, the thickest sway bar in the world. It's the longest sway bar. Yes, there can be a different sizes of sway bar and it's done according to German standards. So the way how it is processed, it's, it makes it super, super, super powerful. I made several videos in comparison with different sway bars and it's not my point of attacking any other sway bar. I also work with a Baharon, but this one has, there is no competition. What it can do to you, what it does, and when we last did the Black Panther and the, the F3S, if, I don't know if you watched that video uh, that I have completely rebuilt. When the owner came in and he first sat on the bike and went for a spin, he could not believe how, like he was almost able to ride the F3S with his uh, pinky or whatever is this small finger. So that's how it helps towards as a power steering. Later on, when I was riding with him after one month, he told me like, it's so sharp. You turn the, the steering wheel or handlebars and the bike just simply goes there immediately within the milliseconds or microseconds. I know it's maybe hard to understand now because you turn your uh, handlebars now, even with the stock sway bar and the bike goes. It's a game changer. It's so precise, it's so powerful. And it allows you to go around the corners faster. It allows you to go around the corners without one uh, wheel raising. And it's great sway bar. On F3S, it's a bloody, uh, bloody beast. On RT, it's great to have it because the RT, it's a, it's a heavy bike. And uh, it, it requires to have, well, the stock is just joke. But this one, again, the steering is much smoother. The bike reacts much better in the corners. And also I call them rails. Like when you have a heavy truck uh, going on the roads, you know, it creates those kind of rails on the road. And 
you go from one side to another uh, uh, with your bike. This is not really that much happening with a, with a sway bar. So H&R, German sway bar with all of the certificates that you can imagine uh, and links as the most popular item by far on martindevlogger.com slash shop. So what is actually the bonus item that is even more popular? And now I will finish with item that it's not part of the list just because it's item that I make, but the truth is it's by far the best selling item that I have uh, in general. Uh, we have something like six or 700 items out there already. Uh, it's called fixed push button and it will work on all F3s and also on RT models. Uh, what it does, and it costs just $26.99. <laughs> I still have the prototype here. Uh, it basically, here you have a push button uh, that it's basically a switch that when you put a bag, and that's how I actually found out, when you put a bag on your back seat, so I'm riding with extra bag on my back seat, uh, holding with bungees the bike it's slower because it thinks you have a passenger as your back seat so the nanny slows your bike down doesn't allow a real wheel spin doesn't allow you to go around the corners faster and maybe some of you are now thinking like geez that's something that's happening to me and that was the point why we come with uh, this um, fixed push button so you can replace the stock button with our fixed push button it's so powerful that you can actually step on it Whee! and it can cope up very easy with a well-sized dude like me, 120 kilograms, a lot. And uh, I think in one video, I just ran over it. So $26.99, the most popular item. However, like on, don't worry about on F3S and F3s, you can use it with passenger. Yes, you can use it, of course. That, was one of the points, but I like to say it's only for bags. On T's and RT20s, please, especially the RT20 Plus, uh, uh, when you use my fixed push button with the passenger, think in the way that RT is automatically adjusting the rear suspension, so it will not work that way, okay? So what I say, it's rather use it only with when you have a bag there, but it's your call in, in general. So that's the only thing I would be really thinking twice if to use it on RT20 plus or yes or not. But anytime you can remove it and put the stock uh, push button there. So guys, this was the kind of number one uh, selling item on martindevlogger.com uh, slash shop. In case you like these kind of videos, uh, continue watching me. I'm so tired after the whole season. Still, I'm preparing for you a Christmas special when I will tell you a little bit more about the shop. There are some questions you would like to, to know. So stay tuned on that. Should should go live before the New Year's Eve. Uh, in case you would like to get that 10% or 5%, depends what type of item you will buy shop now in case you are watching through the christmas time and guys remember winter it's for making upgrades and surviving the winter time but the spring is here very shortly so you know just survive it and look forward to a summer riding in case you would like to see by the way europe on three wheels tours on three.com so many promotions, so tired, I'm out. Thank you very much for watching and remember, always have fun and shop and visit martindevlogger.com.